Hey people, it's Nihal's Toki. Now this is another Black Artist video. Now the source I'm using is robertsprojectsla.com so, and I'll put in some more sources when I'm finished. Otis Kwame Kai Kweko, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. Otis Kwame Kai Kweko, born 1988, Accra, Ghana, based in Portland, Oregon, figuration, is built upon a palette where color becomes its own language of transformation, be it social, political, or personal. His are images of empowerment and redemption, sophistication and humility, curiosity and quietude. Each figure becomes a symbol of the reclamation of cultural dignity, embracing the idea of origin and personal narrative as it relates to gender and race dynamics. When I first see my subjects, whether in real life or in photos, I see them, their resilience, their power, their inner strength, these are the character traits that arrest me, that jump out and grab and jump out at me and grab my attention. My subjects' attitude is very important to me. I try to put them myself in their place, see what they see, experience what they experience, be who they are. Certainly the color reflects the subject's state of mind and suggests a more complicated and celebrated relationship to the world around them. The, specific, the specificity of the palette used, bright oranges, Eve Klein blues, lurid yellows, and cherry reds, suggests a fearlessness of intention, as well as creating an electrified emotional space where the artist endeavors to capture the essence of each of his subjects, including their own personal sense of style and fashion. Cueco attended the Ganata College of Art and Design for Fine Art in Accra, Ghana, who focused on painting. His second solo show, One But Two Hadzi, opened summer 2021, with a presentation of new works continuing his idiosyncratic perspective on diasporic culture through the celebrated form of black portraiture. This followed Black Like Me, the gallery's inaugural presentation of the artist and his first solo gallery exhibition in the United States, which took place in January 2020. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to leave other links in the description. But throughout the rest of the video, I'm just going to leave some uh, of his art so you can see that. So anyway, and i just like to say this in the body of the video. I wanted to do this uh, video because uh, although black artist videos typically don't get a lot of views, I had this conversation with an elderly black woman recently who talked about growing up in school and at art when she was trying to do art as a child. Her teacher was furious with her for drawing herself as she was, even though the whole topic was a self-portrait. And it was very fascinating that the, even the drawing yourself as you are was seen as some kind of hostile act. And that's why black artists need to be celebrated and promoted. So anyway, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. You know, if you've got the money and you, uh, why not try and buy some of his work? Peace.